they are indeed. <laughs> so the cub who was almost fully into the buffalo has now walked off. So one of the older lions has decided that she's going to have a go. <laughs> and it sounds like you guys have had a fantastic sighting of those Ellie's. It sounds absolutely wonderful. And I'm definitely looking forward to seeing that footage. <laughs> but this is pretty amazing as well. Seeing the lions dining out. So this is 24 hours on, or just under actually. So we heard heard them first attacking the buffalo, probably around 8, 8.30 last night. Now we've still had no sign of any other lions, so no Birmingham boys. I don't think these girls are going to advertise the fact that they've got a kill by the sounds of it, or by the looks of it. But it could be that we get hyena coming in, or we could get jackal. The vultures are roosting in a tree. Unfortunately, we, they've, they're a bit further down. I don't think they're behind the trees for us now. You can see them trying to use their claws to anchor themselves while they try and pull out the tasty meat inside and any organs that are left. So the female on the right, she looked like she had the liver. And if we've got any new viewers with us, this is the Unkahuma Pride. I believe it's translated as the brown ivory. And I think that's the tree that they were found underneath. And it's really great to see that they're doing very well, and the cubs are actually doing pretty well as well. It will be interesting to see if they do call. But as I say, I think they probably, there's the claws, look at that. Hi, Aaron. Welcome on board. Asking if we see Cape Buffalo here. And these are African Buffalo. Uh, the Cape Buffalo are a subspecies of African Buffalo. And as to my knowledge, these aren't Cape Buffalo unless it's been decided they are in the few years that I've been away. I say science does move on, so it might be found that they are all Cape Buffalo, but as I say, to my knowledge, this is a different subspecies, but I'm not sure which one it's supposed to be. Hence, we tend to call them just African Buffalo. Now, looking at the horns, they are quite small, but he is quite an old bull. Hi, Snazzy. Snazzy saying it's interesting to know how the lions actually know where to begin and it's it will be literally through experience so the cubs are experiencing where the adults are actually feeding but it's also where they can actually get in and sometimes you see them actually testing <laughs> sure she's really battling there but testing the areas out so it's basically where the softer tissue is I say around the anus uh, around the throat and the belly, so that's that's the three points that they tend to start entering the carcass. We've got another female coming in, see if she can have another go at the the, uh, the buffalo. And I'd just like to say, if everybody's enjoying the drives, it's been wonderful to be here, but I must thank one of my students who has actually made it possible and my aunt for actually taking over my research for me back in the UK so thank you very much to Ellie and my aunt Helen and I'm hoping that you are watching this because they are big cat lovers as well so if anybody wants to thank anybody for bringing me out here obviously uh, Safari Live for allowing me to come back and experience these wonderful moments with you live 
on Safari Live, but uh, they also made it possible as well. So definitely give a thank to them <laughs> if you see them in the chat room. <laughs> This is amazing. Hi, David. David asking if it's beneficial to have a male around to chase away the hyenas. And it can be. It's, it's again, it's more the numbers game. So we've got the four, the five females here. So depending on how many hyenas came in, um, the four, well, the, sorry, the five lionesses would be able to fend off quite a number of hyenas. But if 30 hyenas came in, I think even having the boys here would not, uh, would not help them. But lucky for them, I don't think our clans here in the northern Sabi Sands tend to get up to those numbers. I think our clan around here is probably about 15. The big males might be beneficial to have if all 15 clan members uh, were to descend. But it, again, it depends on how hungry they are. I mean, if, if they'd only just brought down the buffalo and then the hyenas came in, they'd still be very uh, hungry, so they'd be very aggressive. Whereas they're probably going to be a little bit more docile now. <laughs> Thanks, Enzo. <laughs> Sorry for that, everybody. <laughs> I wasn't keeping an eye on what Senzo was doing to give you the warning. <laughs> sure, she's really trying to get in there. Look at that. <laughs> A workout with the buffalo, sure. Look at that pure muscle. You will not find an ounce of fat on those cats. And there you go. There's the tracks that we were following this morning. So the three lobes in the back pad and those oval toes. And of course, they retract their claws just like your domestic cat at home. Hi, Bobby. Bobby, ooh, a little bit of aggression there. No, nope, that's been <laughs> you told off. <laughs> sure. <laughs> that's one thing about life, she's just toileting. Someone should tell them not to toilet where you're eating. Bobby wanting to know, will they eat the brain? And they're not going to be able to get to it. Their jaws are just not going to be strong enough to crack the skull, but a hyena could. They have incredibly strong jaws. I think, I think it's been found that lions have, uh, I think it's a PSI of pounds per square inch. I think it's about 600, four to 600 pounds per square inch strength in their jaw. Whereas the hyena is about 1,500. So a huge difference in pressure that they can actually exert on the bone. And that's where really the hyenas come into their own because they, they are the scavengers, but they're also the caretakers of the bush. So they actually do clean up carcasses. So they will take the bones and chew them up and that's a part of their, big part of their diet. So they'll be able to crack open their buffalo skull and get to the brain, because that's very nutritious as well. Adam, also don't forget the, mar the marrow. It's the best part and it is also very nutritious. Uh, so lions will be able to crack some bones, some of the small in the buffalo, but uh, certainly the larger bones, the leg bones, the skull, they're not going to be, and the vertebrate, not going to be eating much of that. They might chew a little bit on it, just to get the calcium and the phosphorus. And you'll also find other animals then utilizing the bones. Believe it or not, giraffes will eat bone. So once they've been cleaned of any meat. So it's quite normal this time of year to see a giraffe eating a bone. 
porcupines, tortoises. We'll eat uh, the hyena dung that's got a lot of the calcium in the dung. Hi Steel Mac. That pretty much is a lion's life. Eat, sleep and drink. <laughs> Bit of hunting in between. <laughs>